During the dozen years that straddled the turn of the 20th century, the then village of Norwich built five elementary schools, four of which are still standing, including the now home of the Shenango County Historical Society, the former Ward School No. 2. On the 125th anniversary of the school's opening, the Society collected oral histories from several former students who shared how the school helped broaden their horizons far beyond their neighborhood. Mary Oliver began a lifelong love affair One with thing, books. We had a reading program. I don't know if it was a program. It was part of the, you know, the class day. And I learned to read by my dad reading comics to me. And once I memorized them enough, I could look at it and read it. But I'd never had any input as to when you read, you put some emphasis into it. And that's where I learned to do that, to become part of it, to emote with it. Judy Wright got over her fear of public speaking and However, went on to become a corporate trainer. I didn't like being in front. If I had to give like a book report or something, I didn't ever like that. And so the teacher knew that. And she knew that I was always so nervous that I was ready to pass out. So she always watched me and she was very gentle about giving me full notice and all of that. And so I, I never dreamed I would be in the career field that I am today. Um, Gordon Stevens had a career as a television news reporter. Being an early reader. Now, I guess I have to thank a teacher for that, but in the third grade, I was reading books to a circle of kids. Um, so, and that stood me pretty well, I think since my job was reading <laughs> later in life uh, as a journalist. And it was my first introduction to something called social studies, which is the old, I don't know what they call it anymore, but geography wasn't really promoted, but the social studies actually introduced us to, you know, this is the, the world and it's out there and you can learn a lot about it. I enjoyed history I enjoyed, re you know, reading and learning about about the world. For retired veterinarian Bob O'Keefe, learning about the world was a game. I do remember a lot of the little things that happened in Mrs. Flanagan's class that, uh, you know, like the standing up in front of the map before school started and playing with the other kids that were not playing, practicing, trying to locate obscure cities in Africa or something or countries or whatever, and then see who could find it first. We'd take turns doing that. And we actually did learn geography that way. Retired teacher and former mayor Joe Mariano's window on the world was a viewmaster. And we used to look through those uh, scopes there. We had all the, you know, for uh, geography, showed us uh, like Rome and Spain and wherever you wanted to go. And it was always fun to put them in there because uh, they magnified them and, you know, there was picture on each side and they were kind of uh, three-dimensional so it was, a, it was a lot of fun doing that. I was through books able to go to Mars with John Carter, Edgar Rice Burroughs. Um, I went to the South Pacific with um, Mr. Michener. I went all over the world, did all kinds of cool things, sitting on my little couch. You and stayed in our classroom most of the time mm -hmm. and, and the music teacher and the art teacher and those came in yeah. during the week, one day or whatever. And I do remember having the, you know, the both the gym teacher come once a week and the, the music teacher come and teach us. And she, I think that was fourth grade, she brought the orchestra teacher from, from the Norwich High School at the time. It was a superb violin teacher. And I think it was fourth grade, yeah, we got all started, maybe it was Mrs. Tice's, maybe it was third grade. He came and demonstrated playing the violin to us. And of course, I couldn't believe he could get such sounds like birds out of, a, of, a, out of an instrument like that. So that was the beginning of everybody having tonettes. We all paid for the school to order a bunch of tonettes, which are basically plastic, uh, you know, flutes that we all learned to do music on those. And that was something we regularly did in class and with the music teacher. 
Retired florist Gib Harrington credits the school with setting him on the path to success in high school and afterwards. But I uh, became active in band starting as soon as I got out of sixth grade. I started taking cornet lessons. Now that ran through until I wound up at the top of the trumpet section and was president of Norwich High School Band many years later. But this good experience at Rexford Street School sort of lit a firecracker under me and sent me on my way to accomplish some good things.